replacing the word but with the word and. The word but has a use in psychology and certain marketing tactics. In everyday language, it just indicates argument. I understand that you believe, but that's just the beginning of an argument. Try, I understand that you believe and I believe. Now you've agreed with someone and added your point of view. The third, the third verbal thing is when you're in a conversation with another person, replace the word but with the word and. So this one is especially for employers and managers. And versus but. Then you say you, you want this, but I think we should do this. And that's the way that an argument starts and the way that people get insulted by things. So you, you say you, you want to do this and I want to do this. Instead of you want to do this, but I want to do this. Yeah, and the context most people are used to is you have this idea, but we're going to do it my way. So replacing it with and is first you actively listen and someone says something, brings an idea to you, you repeat it back. I understand that you want the flyers to be blue. And I think it would match our company color scheme better if there was some shade of red. Just the most pedestrian example I can think of. 